In this video, I'm going to discuss three myths that exist about children and individuals with Down syndrome. And like most myths about people, uh, these myths are, are very common and they are often believed and told to parents and often very, very destructive. So the first myth that exists is that genetics determine everything, right? That for a child with Down syndrome, that their, uh, their development is predestined by their genetics. Well, actually, environment has a great impact on a child's development. And what we've learned uh, with the Doman Method over the last six decades is that uh, if we do the right kinds of stimulation, right, with uh, children with Down syndrome, if we give them the right kinds of opportunities, and if we can coach the parents to do the best treatment programs with their children, that we can change the trajectory of that child's development and help them achieve their fullest potential in life. The second myth, and this is a very destructive myth, is that uh, children with Down syndrome are destined to have intellectual problems and difficulties. So uh, as many of you might know about the Doman Method, one of our most popular parts of our treatment program is our early uh, cognitive programs and our stimulation programs for children. And with these programs, we have been successful in teaching children with Down syndrome at two and three years of age to read and do math. Yes, that's, that's right, read and do math at uh, ages of two or three years of age. Uh, and uh, this was discovered by my grandfather, Glenn Doman, uh, and he wrote an entire book called How to Teach Your Baby to Read, which was based on his findings right, and his discoveries in teaching children with special needs how to read. And so at this point at Doman International, we have seen children with Down syndrome go on to uh, get bachelor's degrees at university. Even some get master's degrees uh, in uh, very sophisticated subjects. And so we know that despite what the world often tells parents, that these children are destined for cognitive problems, uh, that if we can do the right kinds of programs with those children, that uh, those myths are untrue. The third thing, the third myth, is basically any stereotype that exists about children with Down syndrome. You know, when you speak to people, they very often will uh, innocently uh, discuss these stereotypes when talking about people with Down syndrome, like people with Down syndrome are always happy, right? Children with Down syndrome are always affectionate, right? Or people with Down syndrome are overweight. Uh, if, if anything, uh, we have found that these stereotypes are very, very untrue, and we've seen many children and adults with Down syndrome uh, completely dispel these myths, right? And uh, so, for example, some children with Down syndrome are affectionate and always happy, uh, but some are not. Uh, and so uh, each, each child is different, right? Just how every child is different, any child with Down syndrome is different. They have their unique personalities and wills and desires. And so any stereotype that exists about them is a negative one because it essentially uh, puts them all into a box together and they are individuals like anyone else, which any parent of a kid with Down syndrome uh, knows. So those are three uh, very destructive myths about children with Down syndrome. And at Doman International, we will continue working hard to teach parents and the world to dispel these destructive myths.